on Bessmel. This is a standard battle. My first battle in some time. I don't know, a week and a half ish. But it's a standard battle. I brought out my old, my original team. Um, I haven't battled with it in a really long time. Actually, <laughs> I randomly tried to double battle like a couple days ago with it, and it went so awful. I didn't like I recorded it, but I didn't even keep it. It was so awful. That is not a double battle team, and I am not a double battler. So, anyway, this is the battle that gets very from Smogan Forums, and I'm going to lead off with Trunks, as I used to. He starts off with a Heracross, he Mega Horns, and I know that anything he hits me with, I'm I'm good to go. Don Fan is a beast, so I set up some rocks. He hits me with a Mega Horn again. I go for an EQ. It's not going to do that much damage. Um, looking back, maybe it wasn't the greatest idea, but it ends up working out. Um... Switch out to Blue Marine, and he ends up close hitting me with a close combat. It does a lot of damage, but after Lefty's gain, I mean, it's cutting it really close, but I'm thinking I can take another one. And I do end up taking another one. I survive with just 4 HP, but it's fine with me. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't matter to me. I explode, and Heracross goes down. I was kind of concerned at this point. I mean, it took me a lot to stop that Heracross. But uh, I have rocks up right now. It's 5-5, five, five. you know, things are pretty even. It's Things are alright. Bring in Delciel, pretty much just to scout. He brings in a Tyranitar. I don't want any surprises. You know, I don't want to run into something scarfed, something crazy. So I protect. I get him to sleep. Um, then hoping to bug buzz him. Then got it hit. The battle before this, I didn't record. And I lost because of the biggest bout of hacks. I missed twice with Hypnosis and then got critted like three times, all for KOs. Um, but I'm going to Bug Buzz, of course, and he switches out to Gengar. He resists, so it's not going to do that much damage. Um, but of course, I outspeed him by now, after all these speed boosts, and there's pretty much no reason I shouldn't be able to take him out, unless by some horrible bot of luck, Air Slash misses, 95 accuracy, but it hits, so that's cool. Um, and his Gengar's toast, pretty much. I'm feeling good. I like these situations where I have a couple speed boosts on my end mega. I can just ease out here with Scizor. Something that I don't really want to, you know, sit in here and attack to death. He switches in his Scizor. Obviously, that's what I said. And he quick attacks. He said later that it was Scarfed. Uh, which, I don't know, but he has quick attack, so I don't know why he did that. But, you know, whatever floats your boat. He switches in Blastoise after Trunks takes a quick attack like a freaking beast. And I earthquake him. I do some pretty decent damage, actually. I was pretty, I was pretty pleased with that. But I'm going to switch out to my. I'm expecting a surf. I'm going to switch out to my Breloom for the resist. And at this point, I was concerned. Like really, I only did that because he resists it. Um, it was kind of stupid. I outspeed him, so there's really no reason I shouldn't have attacked here. I switched out because I was worried about Ice Beam, but there's. I mean, there's really no reason I should have switched out, but it ends up working out. My my stupid move ends up being cool because he switches out too, to Metagross. And at this point, I'm not sure. Maybe he'll agility, maybe he'll... I mean, there's a number of things he could do. So I'm just going to go for a close combat, and I crit on the close combat. That was really sweet, and I felt bad about it. I felt, you know, obviously crits are never... They piss me off, they piss everybody off. When this game becomes all about luck, it's no fun. But he brings in his Scizor again. I was thinking about switching. Not going to switch. Just going to go for another close combat. But a U-turns, and the U-turn crits. So, those were the two main crits. Um, each for KO, so I'm thinking they canceled out. You know, I'm, I feel pretty good about this match overall, being a pretty fair match. Um, so my Galade's down. That's alright with me. He brings in Blastoise, but that gives me a clean switch in to Bomba Verde, my Breloom, and I'm going to Seed Bomb, and Blastoise will be KO'd after that. So I have a pretty nice lead here, feeling pretty comfortable. He brings in his Caesar again, um, not going to deal with this, so I'm going to go ahead and switch out now, and go ahead and I switch out to my Togekiss, Noki. Uh, he Iron Heads, I wasn't sure exactly what he was going to do, but I was fairly certain that I could deal with whatever he gave me. Um, and at this point, 
See, this is what doesn't make any sense. He says he was scarfed, but I outsped him right there, so... Unless he used, like, Whirlwind? Can he even learn Whirlwind? I have no idea. It's, it, it must be a really weird set, but I flamethrower, he takes him out. Scizor's down. Now I have a Sleeping Tyranitar to take out. Aura Sphere is going to be perfect KO. Really great match, Barry. Um, I was pleased. It was it was a nice match to get back into the swing of things. Get back and do posting vids. Thanks for watching, people. You might have seen my video a couple days ago. I'm looking to do some things besides Pokemon. Maybe co cover some other games. I don't know. Give me suggestions. I had a whole list on that video. but Thanks for watching, guys. Comment, rate, sub. I'll get more videos up. Lone Best Mile out.